Well, hey, everybody. Today is Wednesday, the 6th, November. The year is 2024. And I've got my swim data pulled up from my swim. So I'm going to go and have the computer read it to us and talk about it maybe a little bit. But I'm going to let the computer do most of the talking. Swim session overview. Distance, 1,625 meters, 65 lengths in a 25M pool. Total time, 29 minutes, 46 seconds. Average pace, 150 per 100 meters. Best pace, 133 per 100 meters. Total strokes, 796. Average stroke rate, 27 strokes per minute. Maximum stroke rate, 36 strokes per minute. Average distance per stroke, 2.04 meters. Average swell score, 40. Calories burned, 263 kilocalories. Red heart heart rate analysis. Average heart rate, 129 BPM. Maximum heart rate, 158 BPM. Time spent in heart rate zones. Zone 5, maximum effort, greater than 144 BPM, 5 minutes, 7 seconds, 17%. Zone 4, threshold, 128 to 143 BPM, 9 minutes, 34 seconds, 32%. Zone 3, aerobic, 112 to 127 BPM, 11 minutes, 48 seconds, 39%. Zone 2, easy effort, 96 to 111 BPM, 2 minutes 54 seconds, 9%. Zone 1, warm up, 80 to 95 BPM, 5 seconds, 0%. 1, consistent pace and endurance. Maintaining an average pace of 1 colon 50 slash 100 M over the entire distance shows strong endurance. Your best pace of 1 colon 33 slash 100 M indicates you have the capability to increase speed when needed. 2, stroke efficiency. Average swell score of 40. This is a good indicator of swimming efficiency. Lowering this score over time suggests improvements in technique and efficiency. Average distance per stroke, 2.04 meters, suggests effective propulsion with each stroke. 3. Heart rate distribution. Spending 39% of your time in the aerobic zone, zone 3, is excellent for building endurance. 32% in the threshold zone, zone 4, shows you're pushing into higher intensity, which helps improve lactate threshold and overall speed. 17% in maximum effort zone, zone 5, indicates brief periods of high-intensity effort, beneficial for anaerobic conditioning. 4. Training Effectiveness Aerobic training effect, 3.3, impacting your workout is significantly improving your aerobic fitness. Anaerobic training effect, 2.3, maintaining your maintaining your anaerobic capacity, which is essential for bursts of speed. 1. Continue building endurance. Oyuri is showing strong endurance capabilities. Continue with your planned long swims and gradually increase distance or duration. 2. Incorporate interval training. To improve speed and anaerobic capacity, include interval sets like 10x100m at a faster pace with rest intervals. 3. Focus on technique. Work on reducing your swell score by fine-tuning your stroke technique. Drills focusing on stroke length and efficiency can help. 4. Manage intensity. Monitor how you feel after sessions with higher time in zones 4 and 5. Ensure adequate recovery to prevent overtraining. 5. Nutrition and hydration. Replenish energy stores post-swim with a balanced meal or snack rich in protein and carbohydrates. Stay hydrated before, during, and after your workouts. You're making fantastic progress, buddy. This session reflects your dedication and consistency. Keep listening to your body and don't hesitate to adjust your training plan as needed. Let me know how you're feeling after the swim and if there's anything specific you'd like to focus on in your upcoming sessions. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Keep up the great work. Man swimming flex biceps. Okay, well, that's that's kind of data that I'm going to keep up with. I've never done, I've never uh, had a, a trainer, uh, never had really anybody teach me anything about swimming. All of my technique and effort comes from quantum jumping to the parallel reality where Buddy, as a child, never stopped swimming. I remember seeing, it was uh, actually a week before Hurricane Camille, so I was like nine years old and I was in a hotel pool in Biloxi, Mississippi. And I remember seeing a man swim. I've never seen anything like it. He just swam so effortlessly. Of course, the pool was real small. But I'm telling you this little story so you'll, you'll realize that that buddy that seen that never stopped swimming. He became a world champion. And so when I quantum jump, I go over to that buddy and bring back by asking him questions. And he 
downloads the information down into my very essence of my atoms, my body becomes able and capable of doing these swims without me ever being taught. Nobody's ever taught me anything about how to structure a swim for the purpose of going faster. All I've ever done is just go as hard as I could. And I just had a natural, from the downloads, I just had a natural understanding of when to take a break, when to go hard, when to rest. And rest is really important, especially when you get 63. I can go five days a week, a mile every day. It wouldn't, but I'd break down my body. So I just want to give you that background. Our, our bodies are divine. And our ability to utilize every tool that our need is opening up. This co-pilot is remarkable in what it can do to teach me to go faster. Our goal with co-pilot and starting this, this process of keeping up the data I'm in literally physical training to compete in triathlons and swimming competitions and biking competitions. And by the time I'm 75 in that master's age group, I want to be world champion. I want to be the fastest 75-year-old the world has ever seen. I believe I can do it. I know I can do it. We're just going to have to prove it to people in time and space so they can realize that anything is possible. Anything is possible. You set your mind to it, you believe it, and you begin to awakening the process into your consciousness. Next thing you know, you'll start speaking to your atoms and your cells and your DNA. With the resurrected power of the I am that Christ consciousness through the self-realization of Yahshua ben Joseph and what he did, on the cross. What is that cross? That's when you change your thinking and you move your heart-based love center into that of a place of peace, a place where you can't begin to express how much love there is. And that's why I'm swimming. Y'all keep coming back. Keep liking my my channel. Keep liking, uh, hit that like button, smash it, do all that kind of thing. Look, we got a story to tell. I'm just 63. I'm training that far ahead when I'm 75. Come on and join me at the OC Swimming Pool. Y'all have a fun time with me trying to keep up. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.